take no Big Beach. We're here. I bet now it's different this time. Hey guys, so another game, another Knicks blowout. They're down right now 104 to 106 to the Portland Trailblazers. Ugly game. Even though the Trailblazers have been struggling, pretty good team. Lillard ran off, no one could stop him. But what I want to talk about is more the direction of the franchise. Because as of right now, they're in a weird spot where things are really going to be tenuous over the next couple months. Fisdale's fired, which I still 100% think needed to happen. Some people might point to what's happening tonight and say, well, look, they're getting blown out again. Miller didn't make the difference. Number one, it's the second game he's coaching. He's going to need more time to evaluate him either way. Number two, the roster already had its own issues. It's not going to, no, you know, no coach is going to, I think the team is better than four and 19. But short of God coming... No one. God couldn't do it. There's no coach that was going to turn this roster into like a really big competitive team once you really saw how things were going to work. Um, this was really around a 30-win team. Hopefully they can maybe get there because I think we do need to see some progress. But the issue I want to bring up is really what's going on in terms of the front office. A lot of reports now on Masai, Uriji coming in um, or being interested, a change of uh, coach in the offseason, the GM, the president, so many questions. Scott Perry and Steve Mills are on the 100% on the hot seat. In fact, they may already be just sitting ducks. There's a weird point they're at whereas, where they want to win. They need to win, actually, to show Dolan any kind of progress. By this point, we're 4-20, and 20, and this team needs to blow it up. You need to get rid of the one-year guys, the, the guys on the team options. Just give up on them. The offseason was a failure. Get rid of them. Play the youth out, even trade some of the youth if you get a good offer. But you need to play them out at this point. Really try to establish at least some consistent tendencies. I think Miller is someone who could still be on the staff next year as an assistant coach. So if you're going to give him that task, let Miller know, hey, look, you need to make sure that they know how to do these certain things specifically, these, these, these things on the court, stay consistent, set screens, box out, get the basics down because we still see the basics. Uh, I'm not just there with this group all the time. But even furthermore, with the whole Perry Mills dilemma where they need to show progress, but the team, as the franchise, does not really need to buy and get any more players here right now. They need to really focus on the draft and looking ahead to what the new front office might be. What are Scott, you know, are we going to, is Dolan going to take away Perry and Mills' um, you know, autonomy? Is, you know, is there a situation where they might get fired before the season's over and Allen Houston takes over as like an interim GM, but just to make sure they don't make, you know, there's no stupid trade and we don't do anything crazy for the future. And then you bring in someone in the off season who's gonna basically revamp this. The good thing about this is that for once, the Knicks don't have a team or a franchise at least, or a roster, I should say that, that's capped out, that has no picks, that has all these things going wrong. Maybe some of the youth don't work here and maybe they're not that good. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Maybe they need more development. It's still fairly early in the season. We're gonna have more to see. But when it comes to the cap situation, you can have a GM or president or both coming in here in a situation where they can, they have a, the lay of the land is already set. They're gonna have young players that are tradable. They're gonna have picks. They're gonna have cap space that they can use and they're gonna be flexible. So it's not, it's not while the Knicks have been horrible, it's not the worst situation in the row for uh, a new front office to come into. So you'd wanna give that front office Full control and not mess up at least the future now but Perry and Mills they know they want to show progress Miller's obviously gonna finish the season out but they're gonna need wins and the threat of firing is not gonna work with Miller because he I don't think he deserves to be fired he's an assistant you know he's an assistant coach that's been that's interim coach now so he should finish the year but a really weird spot for Perry and Mills and for the Knicks franchise as a whole and Dolan what is he gonna decide what does he want to do um, and it always goes back to Dolan, doesn't it? You know, James Dolan has been this constant in this franchise. He's meddling, he's not meddling. But again, it's going to come down to him because he's the one, apparently he's been obsessed with the idea of getting a high-level GM. Let's see who wants to come here. 
But like I said, real weird spot for the Knicks right now because it's got to a point where you're going to have to make a decision on this season sooner rather than later. Obviously, we know the trade deadline, the, not the trade deadline, but the re restrictions on when you can sign, when you can trade the guys you signed in the offseason is coming up in like a week. Well, not even a week now, four days. So you're literally really close to this roster maybe changing. And if that's the case, change it. Like, it, let's get rid of these guys. Let's maybe get some picks if we can. Admit the offseason was a failure, but that's the, like, again, that goes back to the dilemma with Perry and Mills is you admitting the offseason is the failure completely ends your career in New York. But that's what's better for the franchise. So how does Dolan navigate this? As always with the Knicks, you never know. Peace, guys. It's Terry and Trey, and you know the vibes. If you like the show, please subscribe. And to check out some of our other stuff, click right here.